Hey guys, Jason the X for SCNS Live, powered by Cinelinks. <laughs> I knocked him down with just disturbing this with this accessory. Anyway, we're looking at more of these Walking Dead Series 4 figures from McFarlane Toys, and this is the governor from the from that hit series. And man, uh, great figure, good likeness. First, let's take a look at this box it came in. Now, mine's uh, looking a little ragged there. Oh, something got caught there. Oop, that's just a piece of the plastic. I put that back. So yeah, you got the governor. Now the one thing he says it comes he comes with an alternate head uh, and weapons, but the keys and watch. I don't know if they're talking about the watch that's on his wrist or anything, but there was there were no other there were no other weapons in here. Uh, there's where the knife came from. There's the head. There was the bigger knife, and there's where the pistol came from. There was nothing for a watch and keys. So I don't know. It even says it on the back that he comes with that, but I don't see it in the package. It might be a mistake. Who knows? Because there is no extra keys and watch. Now, there is a key around his neck, and he does have a watch on his wrist, but they're molded on. I hope that's not an accessory, because that would be a pretty lame accessory. But, moving on, this guy uh, is a good, good likeness. I love the shoes on this guy, and how he's a lot cleaner than some of the other figures. Of course, he was from Woodbury, so he would be. Nice hunter's vest with the um, detailing here that's actually molded in. And on his hip he has his gun and his knife, which are removable. Let's go ahead and take those out for the, for the review. Something to the side. I was trying to remember on the episode, did he holster his gun like that where it was forward? Because that's kind of stupid to do that. But anyway. So you got the vest there. It almost looks a little off kilter, like it, like it, oh, like it has a waist articulation that was just stuck until I did that. Ah, uh, yes. Anyway, got the rolled up sleeves. You got a nice gold key there, and a really nice ball jointed head. Uh, the head does have a double ball joint. One, uh, it's on a barbell. One holds in the head. One's in the neck. So, get some pretty good articulation out of that. But yeah, really great figure. And uh, as far as accessories, we have a nice little silver pistol here. As like I said, fits right into that holster or, you know, fits into his hand for killing time. Come on. Let's uh, go in there without a problem here. Come on, don't make me look stupid on camera. Alright, there we go. See the McFarlane toys, they're... they're Weapons really peg in, well, their hands hold them very well because it actually stretches out the plastic when you put it in there. It does come with uh, this little tiny knife that was over this, this sheath. I'll slide that back in. And he also comes with this big Mama Jamma Bowie knife here. A nice, not too bad there. The handle's actually got a little bit of a different color brown on there, like a couple of shades of brown, make it look kind of uh, a little more detailed. And he can hold that in either hand. Yeah, in case you know, that's not a knife, this is a knife. And while, yeah, this is a good likeness of the governor, sideburns and everything, the neck kind of doesn't match the paint on the head. That's the only thing that bothers me. Now, as far as this, the joint that you want to pull this out of is the ball joint that's in the neck. Don't try for the head one. Because the alternate head, there we go. See, I'll bring this over here. See, there's your peg, there's your ball joint. So, you want to remove it from the neck, just to let you know. Now, this one seems to match up better with the paint around the neck. Because he actually has like a little bit of a 5 o'clock shadow here. Just trying to get that back on there. Alright, there we go. See, whereas this head was kind of more clean shaven, this one has a, more of a 5 o'clock shadow on there. And it's actually, it, the hair is different and everything. They could have just easily painted over that, uh, just put that eye patch on there, which they, they didn't quite do that. I mean, it's actually a mole there. The strap is painted, but, you know, not too bad though, still. So yeah, the governor, you know, you got him now with his current look, because he's missing an eye, thanks to Michonne. 
and not too bad of a, not too bad of a character. I'm really enjoying getting these Walking Dead figures and just kind of displaying them. They're not really much in the action figure range, but McFarlane Toys has gotten a little bit better about that. So I'll give credit where credit's due because they are fantastic looking with great paint apps. So if you're a fan of Walking Dead, you're looking for some collectibles to put on the shelf, maybe from the show, not the comic. These are a good choice. Like I said, you can find these over at Walgreens. I don't know what other stores they're uh, petering out to, but I did find them at Walgreens. So until next time, guys, I'm Jason the X for SCNS Live, powered by Cinelinks.com. And until next time, I'll catch you later.